Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Club and welcome to the first video with the Movie Star update. The Movie Star update came out in Sims Free Play on Tuesday the 26th of July at midnight in whatever time zone you are in. As you can see the update is just in progress in my game. As soon as it is done, we're going to go ahead and get started with the Movie Star update. Okay, so once your game has updated, if you go out onto your town map, you will get this pop-up, new profession location available. You can now visit the movie studio. Check it out on the town map and help your sims become A-list actors or movie directors. Awesome. So it's going to be just like the police profession that we had in the previous update where we can go to work with our sims. Personally, I love this whole aspect to the game. I know a lot of people are complaining about it, saying it's taking too long to complete things, but like, for me who has you know completed all the other quests and everything, it, it is a good thing that we it gives us something to go in and play the game for. I like it, I know a lot of people don't. So it's over bottom right hand side of the map and let's go ahead and click on it. Movie Studio Profession. The Movie Studio Workplace is now a profession. Sims working here can become an A-list become A-list actors, work your way through auditions, voice acting roles, and feature films to get your Sims a personal trailer, make a name as a director. Prove yourself in costumes, hair and makeup, and stunts to set up shop if you're in your own viewing trailer. So let's enter lot. We don't have to build it, do we not? That's interesting, we didn't have to build it. Okay, so let's have a little, a little, wow, it is a huge lot. Check this out, oh my goodness. Wow, it's massive, absolutely massive. Oh look, there's the, the dragon off the trailer. And there's the balcony. Oh, this is this is awesome. I'm I'm really looking forward to building all of this. So in the top left corner, we've got our movie star workplace overview up here, and this shows us everything that we can build. So all our workstations, and then we've got two different career paths: either director or performer. And that goes up to level nine. And these are all the areas that we can upgrade. Just like the um, just like the police career, so we can't do any of the director or the performer stuff yet. We need to have a sim at level six in the performer or the director um, paths. So you just need to keep putting sims to work in the movie studio and then they'll eventually get to level six and when they're at level six you can choose whether they want you want them to be a director or a performer obviously i recommend sending two sims to work at the same time and when they get to level six choose one director and one performer so you can do both different paths we have our storage box again for all our different items that we get and then we have our resource exchange let's go ahead and have a little spin here. We can spin this every 24 hours, I think, if it's the same as the police. There's our first resources. Oh, every four hours. That's better. Okay. So what you need to do now is go into your occupations tab. And we need to put two sims to work. So I think I'm going to do a boy and a girl sim. So go into, click on the... Um, so click on the suitcase icon on your sims and then as you can see you've got movie studio accept this job yes and the girl i'm gonna do again accept this job and then let's send them to work so we can either send them to work by themselves or go with them we are obviously going to be with them so we've got two sims over here and then here we go the people have started coming and we just need to go ahead and start so we've got golf cart which we can provide escort for 10 minutes security booth verify id badge for two minutes catering area provide food for five minutes so various different things that we need to do oh the golf cart's already been used okay security booth there we go so we've got the golf cart there 
This is the security bit where he checks the ID badges. Look at the little uniforms. Let's see the woman's uniform as well. There we go. Same uniforms at the moment. Once they get into level six and they choose their career path, they get a different uniform. Oh look, here they go in the golf cart. Let's just watch this. Are they gonna I wonder if they're gonna go and yeah, into the tunnel. Crash into the tunnel. That's do you like on the trailer? That's cool. I love that. So at the moment, obviously, we haven't collected any resources, so we can't upgrade anything. But what you need to do is, once you've collected your resources, you just need to keep on keep on clicking on the sims as they arrive and doing the tasks. And you will earn resources, different types of resources. And once you have earned resources, you can upgrade the different areas. So security booth, golf cart, and catering area at the moment. You can upgrade these. As you can see, the first upgrade for the security booth, it will the action time will it'll take minus six seconds off the time taken to do each um, each little action. For the golf cart, it'll take minus thirty seconds, and for the catering area, minus fifteen seconds. So I do recommend that as soon as you are collecting these items, that you go ahead and upgrade the areas as soon as you can, because it just helps you out a little bit. You can either minus the action time, get coins, or get work XP. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. You can also trade in these resources. If you get so many of a certain type and you need different types, you can come over here and trade ones in for different ones. Also remember to try and come back every four hours to do that spin. Here we go. This is our first, our first time we can collect. And what did we get? We got some XP. And I don't know what else we got. Let's have a little. Oh, we got three of the 3D sunglasses. I don't think we need those at the moment, though. We don't actually need those at the moment. That's okay, though. And we've just sent them off to the catering van. Let's have a little look at this. Look at this. This is awesome. I love it. So whilst they are busy working, let's just take a little look at the other areas that we've got. So we've got the voiceover booth. We need to have a sim reach level 7 of the performer specialisation for the voiceover booth. We have audition room, level 6 of the performer. And then I think maybe all on this side are the performer ones. Yeah, reach level 9 of the performer for the A-list celebrity trailer. So that's kind of like the ultimate, ultimate goal. And then, wow, this is huge. Back here, reach level 8 of the performer to get the film set. As you can see, there's different resources that we need to build each thing. And then over on this side are the director ones. So stunt set, for level. you need level 8 of the director. And this is the trailer. This is a level 9 of the director. We get a director's trailer. That's the ultimate goal for the director path for career. And we've got two down here. We've got level 7 of the director for this. And this is a hair and makeup department. Let's have a little... Oh yeah, look at that. Little hair and makeup department there. And this one. Oh, this is the fashion... Like the costume set. Costume department. Level 6 of the director's specialisation. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Right, I am going to continue with trying to upgrade my sims. I'm going to keep sending them to work, keep clicking on the people that arrive and earning all the resources. And I'll be back with another movie studio update video. Once they've been at work for a little while, let me know down in the comments what you think of these updates. Like I said, I know a lot of people have been complaining about them, that they, they kind of like... They wanted to go back to the old style, like the quests, but with that, it's, I felt like you kind of, you could go in, you could complete a new quest within a day, less than a day if you use some LPs, and it kind of didn't keep us interested for long enough, I, fe I felt, when there was a new update, at least with these, like, I'm still working through the police update, I haven't um, finished, I haven't got the police up to level nine and have not built all the areas in the police station and I like that I like that it's no longer just this massive rush to get everything done and it is giving me purpose to come back into the game 
rather than if you are someone that has done all the quests if you don't like building there's pretty much nothing really to do in sims free play once you've done all the quests so personally i think it's nice let me know what you think down in the comments about these new professions in the game thank you so much for watching good luck with your movie star professions and i will see you guys soon for a new video bye